morning. It's 10 past six and the sun is just breaking through. I hope it's another sunny day here. A bit of sadness really. A couple of my friends, um, they're going to sit through some really tough times at the moment. And I really want to help them, but I can't actually get face to face with them because of distance and stuff like that. And the thing is, I don't really know how best to help them. Whether or not they want a Mr. Fix-It guy, a Mr. Stand and Listen, Mr. Sit and Listen, do they want Mr. Comforter? Do they want Mr. Let's forget about it, let's move on, let's go get drunk? I don't know what the best way will be to help them until I know what they want from me most in terms of help. Maybe they just need to stay in their caves and hunker down. Of course, that's good. But eventually we have to come out. Now, I remember my children were growing up and babies and they learned to roll over, sit. Uh, oh yeah, they, they get up on their up on their hands and onto the knees. Then they start to crawl. Then they would um, sit up and then they climb up on the furniture and then they'd walk their first steps. I remember them vividly. And from that moment, their whole lives changed. The whole set of adventures from being that low to up here. The thing is, when you stand up, start to look at the road ahead of you, not the road directly under your feet, but directly in front of you, you can see a little bit more. Maybe with my uh, friends when I get to see them. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask them to call. And eventually, <laughs> they'll have to stand up. And a whole set of adventures will come. So wherever you are, get up. Just get up. I always get up. Give myself five seconds when I'm asleep to get up. That's why I'm up so early. Yeah, the whole world changes when you stand up. Okay, I'm out.